Hi, it's Katie from Katie Cooks and Crafts, and today I'm cooking. I'm making cranberry walnut cookies. These are delicious cookies made with fresh cranberries, walnuts, and just a hint of orange. I'm going to start by mixing together my dry ingredients. I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and I added half a teaspoon of baking soda. Next, I'm going to zest my orange, and I'm using a microplane for this. I think it's the best tool for the job. It takes off just the topmost layer of the peel where all the oils are, but leaves behind the bitter pith. I'm also going to use some of the juice from this orange, and the recipe only calls for two tablespoons, so I should be able to get that very easily from one orange. Now I'm just going to set the zest and the juice to the side, and while I have my cutting board out, I'm going to chop up my cranberries and walnuts. I need two cups of chopped fresh cranberries and half a cup of chopped walnuts. Now in the bowl of my stand mixer, I'm going to put two sticks, that's one cup of dairy-free margarine, or you could use butter if you'd rather, one cup of white sugar, and half a cup of packed brown sugar. And I'm going to beat those ingredients together. Allow them to cream for a good two to three minutes till they're light and fluffy. Now I'm just going to scrape down the bowl to make sure everything is well incorporated. Now it's time to add one egg, the orange juice, and the orange zest. And let all those ingredients mix together. Now I'm going to add the dry ingredients. That's the flour and the baking powder. I'm just slowly spooning them into the creamed mixture. Now it's time for the cranberries and the walnuts. And I'm just going to mix that again for only about 10 or 15 seconds just to mix all of those goodies through. And that's all there is to this dough. It's a little bit softer because of the added liquid with the orange juice. So I'm going to chill the dough for about an hour. And then I'm going to scoop it out onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. And I'm going to bake these in a 375 degree oven for about 12 or 14 minutes. These cookies are fruity and fragrant and delicious. And I hope you give the recipe a try. And thank you so much for watching.